Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a product comparison slash dupe video for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip with the new e.l.f. Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. So of course, Tarte being our high-end product has been around for quite a bit. I think it's been like a year or two and the e.l.f. Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens were just recently released. I know there's been mixed reviews about the e.l.f. product, but I personally love it and I really want to do a comparison of these two to see if they really are a dupe and to see which one is better. So if you guys are interested in seeing me do a comparison and a contrast of these two products and share my honest thoughts on which one I think is better, then make sure to keep on watching. Now before we jump into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Alright you guys, so I want to start off with the high-end product first. I want to tell you guys a little bit about it, the price, what we're supposed to get from this product. I'll do a try-on on the lips as well as a swatch on my hands. So Tarte does have two versions. There's a lip plumping version and a non-lip plumping version, so that's the one I have. So I have the shade here, Coconut, and I'm just on the Sephora website right now and it says that this is like a brown nude. So this product is an all-in-one balm, gloss, and color treatment. It retails for $33, so it is definitely more on the expensive side. And it's a lip plumping pen, so you just basically push up and the product comes up and you put it on your lips. Alright, so I have nothing on my lips. Let's go ahead in and pop this on. So here is the Tarte Lip Pen applied and you guys can see that it's got a nice sheer finish and it's got nice hydration and gloss. I am back on the Sephora website because I wanted to mention just a couple more things that are different about this product and that has to do with the ingredients. So of course this has a lot of benefits for your lips like it's like a lip treatment because it's got of course the maracuja oil which is in the name. It has grapeseed oil and goji so all these things are apparently really good for your lips in terms of nourishing them so there is that lip treatment aspect as well I don't know if you guys could tell during the application process I really had to not go in with too much of this product or else it was going on patchy and kind of streaky so a little does go a long way so if we're focusing on the lip look overall I'm seeing really nice shine I'm seeing a nice glow and I'm seeing a light tint of color Definitely not seeing high pigment, especially my top lip. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of my natural lip seeping through. So yeah, this is what the Tarte lip gloss looks like. Let's try the e.l.f. one next. Next up, we have the e.l.f. Pout Clout Pen. So these ones actually retail for $10, so like a fraction of the price for Tarte. I believe it's $8 in the US, but here in Canada, we pay $10. $10 is definitely better than $33, I can tell you that. So already the price point is reasonable and we like it. I have the shade here, Toasted, and this is like a neutral beige. I feel like it will be pretty similar to coconut, so it's a pretty good dupe. It says here that this is a 3-in-1 lip plumper gloss and balm with a cooling tingle. So I will say with my experience with this product, it's not really plumping. However, it does have that nice cooling sensation, but you definitely don't get any plumping action, but that's okay. That's why I think this is a good comparison with the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip, not the lip plumping version, just because this one doesn't really plump. So I actually did know this but this product also has really good ingredients to help with nourishing your lips it has blueberry fruit extract watermelon fruit extract and pomegranate fruit extract which all helps with nourishing the lips you guys can also see the packaging is basically the same you just push up like a pen and then you go in with the product Here is Toasted Applied, definitely in terms of the shade, I would say 
This is a little bit more nude. It's a little bit lighter. I'm seeing basically the same stuff I saw with the Tarte lip gloss. I'm seeing nice glow. I'm seeing nice glossiness on the lips. So definitely I like it. Of course, the cooling sensation is there, which is really nice. I'm telling you guys right now, it's not going to plump my lips at all, but I do like the cooling feeling on the lips. It feels nice and refreshing. In terms of pigment, I feel like this product has just a little bit more pigment than the Tarte one. This one is a little bit sheer. I do have other shades in this product, and I can tell you guys that they are super pigmented, but I find that the lighter shade is not as pigmented. Between the Tarte one and this one though, I personally feel like this one has a lot more pigment. I am curious to swatch these two as a comparison, so I'm just gonna go in with the Tarte one first. And I will say they both have kind Kind of the same system where you want to go in with a light hand and work in the product or else it's gonna go on streaky like I don't know if you saw as I was putting the product on my hand it was getting streaky so a little goes a long way light layering goes a long way with this type of formula let's go in with the Tarte one right beside the elf one and you guys can see they are basically almost the same. If I had to recommend one to you, I would definitely recommend the e.l.f. ones just because from a price point perspective, you're basically saving so much money and getting almost the same product that you would with high end with Tarte. Just a side note, when I wear either of these products, I do like to line my lips with a deeper lip liner just because these shades are lighter and I don't want to look washed out. So I will show you guys that final lip look at the end. But yeah, overall, I'm actually pretty torn. I feel like these are very, very similar. And I think I would definitely say go with e.l.f., you guys. Save your money. You can get three of these for the price of one of these. So definitely run and get yourself some e.l.f. powder clout pens let me quickly show you guys how i like to wear these pens we'll go in with the elf one since we are definitely team save money and get the drugstore dupe if you can so i'm just lining my lips with a deep lip liner this is also drugstore it's the wet and wild color icon lip liner in chestnut So this is how I would like to wear both of these products, whether it's the Tarte one or the e.l.f. one, just because I don't want to look washed out. The lip liner really just adds nice definition to the lips, so I am living. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's comparison video with the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip and the e.l.f. Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video where I do high-end versus low-end end and I share my honest thoughts with you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next. What products do you want me to compare or review for you guys? I have so much fun filming videos like this because I know that it's very useful to people especially when they're shopping. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And you guys that is pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.